everybody and welcome to the ranch. My name is Mark. Today is Independence Day and we're going to be celebrating by grilling up a good old-fashioned hamburger. It's not going to be just any ordinary hamburger. We're not going to cook it the traditional way, hot and fast on a grill. We're going to cook it a little bit lower, a little bit slower on a charcoal grill to give it a real good summertime hamburger taste. I also decided to add a few different ingredients to the hamburger meat. Usually I just use some kosher salt, but today I sauteed up some a little bit of bacon and onion, just a little bit, and added that to the meat along with a splash of Worcestershire sauce and some hamburger seasoning. Formed them into patties and I've got them ready to go on the grill. Let's get started. I think this is going to be really good. I'll be using my Weber kettle today. I've got it set up for indirect cooking. I'm going to use my slow and sear for my charcoal. I'm only using about a quarter to a third of charcoal for this. I can always add a little bit more, but I want to keep the temperature pretty low. So let's just dump this in. And we'll let that heat up for a little bit and we'll throw the burgers on. Got the burgers outside, they're ready to go on. Also brought out a few strips of bacon and I'm gonna throw that on there as well and let that cook for a little bit. All the meat is on. I stuck a probe in one of the hamburgers just to keep an eye on the temperature of that. Once I get it to uh, within about 20 degrees of my final temperature, I will take that out and we'll sear the burgers. Let's cover this up and we'll check on a little bit later. I decided to throw on just a little tiny piece of hickory just to get a little bit of smoke, not too much. I want to get the burgers to about 120 degrees before I start to sear them. The internal thermometer is reading that's about 114, but let me just check it with this. Yeah, so that's pretty accurate. As you can see, I threw the bacon on over the hot coals, flipped it pretty often, closed the lid, just kept an eye on it to make sure I didn't burn it too badly. It doesn't look too terrible, so hopefully it tastes good. All right, let's just take the temperature here. Yeah, so we're about 120, a little over. So this is the point where I'm gonna start to sear them. I think the bacon's done. I'm gonna pull that off. I just took the burgers off for a minute or so and the bacon as well. The bacon's actually pretty crispy. I'm gonna stoke the coals a little bit, get them extra hot, and then we'll sear these. I got the burgers back on. I'm just gonna swing them around to the hot coals. And we'll let them sear for a minute or so. All right, so I seared these on one side and I'm gonna swing these back around again. and we're gonna sear this side for about a minute or so. We're back on the initial side, just gonna give it another sear here for a minute or so, and then we'll flip it over again and do the other side. This is the second flip on the second side, and then we'll take the temperature and see where we are. Let's take a check. I want them to be around one 40-ish or so, so we're around 130, 135, so we're almost there. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some cheese on them and let that melt and that'll get it up to temperature. I've got the cheese melting, I threw on a couple of sesame buns to toast them up a little bit. These should be done shortly. I took the buns off, the cheese is melted. I want to get these to around 140-ish or so. So it looks like I'm about there. I don't like to have them well done, so I'm gonna leave them sit on for just a tad longer and then we'll pull them off. The burgers are done. They were a little over 140, 145, so it should be a good medium. Just threw on some of that bacon. I apologize, I was hoping to show the full construction of that burger, but due to some technical difficulties, that didn't work out. 
but I did try the burger. In fact, I ate the whole burger. It was really good. A couple things that I wanted to note. One, I used an 80-20 blend of beef, so 20% being the fat content. And the meat wasn't as juicy as I hoped it would be. And I think that was because it was a low and slow cook and it tended to dry it out a little bit more than if it was a hot and fast cook. So if I had to do this all over again, I probably would have used a 70-30 mix. That way it probably would have retained the juiciness a little bit more. But otherwise it tasted good. Um, next time I would probably add a little bit more wood. Uh, there was definitely a, a, a smoke flavor to it, but I think I would have preferred a little bit more. But otherwise, very happy with this. It was a good Independence Day meal, and I thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at the ranch.